I'm not going to have any slides uh, to run through. Um, I'm just going to run through how I usually do like uh, my product research. So this, uh, this contact itself, right, it's probably um, you're at a stage where you already know, hey, um, you've done your keyword research, you already realize, hey, this particular product uh, has some potential. Um, but how do you then go in to see uh, what are the things that um, can, uh, what are the data, what are the information that you can use to help you improve um, the product that you're going to offer and the product that you're going to put in front of um, uh, amongst your competitors uh, and how to make it uh, stand out as compared to uh, your competitors. So, yeah, let's, let's look at a very uh, maybe overused example of a gym bottle. Um, I mean, when I, when I first started out uh, with Amazon, this was the example that uh, a lot of these uh, online courses uh, was, were talking about. Um, if you go into gym bottle today, hey, you realize that um, it, is, it is a good keyword. Um, you realize that um, there are, okay, we assume that it's a, a good keyword and you realize, hey, there are um, quite a few competitors out there. So what you want to do in the first place uh, when you come in, um, when you search the keyword gym bottle, first you want to look at, uh, of course, all the options that are on your uh, search term that you are trying to compete in. So in this case, you can see, hey, um, that's a blender bottle, 18,000 um, 18, uh, reviews over here, probably quite hard to be um, Gatorade. This is um, something that's brand driven. So Gatorade, we know is, is something that um, uh, they sell They sell more than bottles. They sell uh, uh, energy drinks, etc. So they do have an existing brand as well um, to push up uh, their sales. So they have a brand story, etc. Uh, then you see, hey, here, over here, blender bottle again, and another, another item Elvira uh, large bottle. Um, usually what you want to look out for here is, hey, uh, is there room for me to uh, innovate? Um, if you look at this screen, um, you do see that um, most of the bottles are very similar, blender bottle. Uh, but there are also uh, items uh, that look slightly different. Um, Gatorade definitely looks different. This um, Elvira bottle looks slightly different. And then uh, you suddenly have um, all these transparent, transparent bottle types that are available as well. So, uh, and, and this particular one that looks like a jar. So, um, what you, what you, what you want to do when you start um, observing competitors listing is to see whether your product has a place uh, amongst all these keywords. Uh, when I come into um, this keyword dream bottle itself, things that catches my eye uh, or your own eye when you're doing your research would probably capture a customer's eye. Uh, if you look across the screen, you see that, hey, uh, black bottle, black bottle, it's probably very hard for you to, hard for the consumer to say, hey, this is a better product or whatever. So um, you want to you wanna, uh, get all this information and make sure that when you uh, design your product, you have a way to stand out among all, all these uh, similar offerings. So this particular one, All Part Sports Bottle, this stands out quite a lot because um, in one go, you can see there are multiple colors available. If you continue to scroll down, um, this water jar itself, it stands out to you because the design is different. So the point of um, conducting uh, competitor research is not just to hey, find keywords, um, see what to load inside your uh, description, your title, etc. But it's also to see how you should position your uh, product amongst your competitors. So you can, you can continue doing this, um, just uh, make a search downwards and you can really see, hey, um, 
which are the ones that catches your eyes and which are the ones that don't. Probably if uh, something catches your eyes, that is something that um, you know um, as the, you, you can have a, um, it's possible for you to explore that feature. So color here definitely is something that um, I will look at. Um, design wise, uh, most of them have that same bottle build. So maybe if you come up, if you can find something that has a different uh, shape or structure, that could be quite uh, eye catching to customers as well. So this is just a quick glance uh, when you look like from top down, hey, uh, just in the keywords, um, all the products that you're comp you competing with, uh, what do they do well? What do they, uh, not what do they do well in, but how, how do they actually stand out visually when customers scroll down the search term? Uh, the main topic of the day is actually looking inside um, the listing and try to see, hey, um, what exactly uh, are these uh, things doing so well for? Um, if you have not, if you, I, I don't have a plugin here, uh, but if you have not uh, installed uh, uh, some Amazon uh, research plugin, I suggest uh, you can try uh, Helium 10 because they actually show you, hey, um, this particular product, what was the sales volume? Um, is there any, uh, seasonal uh, demand, etc. Um, if you if you have that installed, um, Helium Ten will actually uh, analyze that for you. And while you're doing your research, you can actually see some numbers on whether how this um, particular product uh, performs across the year. Uh, someone in the chat asked, "Where can we get Helium Ten?" I think. Uh, if you go to extensions in your browser and you search Helium 10, uh, on any Chrome-based Chrome -based browser, browser, you can actually install it. Okay, um, so now let's, let's have a look and see um, what makes this uh, particular product so good. So if uh, you, lo you look in here and you see, hey, this particular product itself um, doesn't have much keywords, um, so it's probably not like a, a selling cost kind of uh, seller. Um, usually, usually when that happens, um, you'll see, hey, the title itself is loaded with keywords. The description is also loaded with keywords. Um, over here, it doesn't seem so. Um, it actually seems that they are quite, uh, they're quite legit. Um, this matters because uh, you know what you're competing with and what you're competing against. Um, in a particular keyword term that has a lot of, um, I would say, smaller Amazon sellers or sellers that goes through um, all these uh, uh, sell on Amazon causes, um, you might see uh, more aggressive competition or more aggressive uh, uh, targeting on each other's products um, when you actually start out to sell. So this example over here, hey, this, this customer looks this uh, seller actually looks quite um, like a corporate type of uh, seller. So um, first page here, um, it's good to know how they are, how they are showcasing their products. Um, this particular product here, yeah, uh, measurement, sizing, those are important. Uh, what, it, what it can be used for, uh, what free gifts they have. Um, some of the features, carrying loop, leak proof, um, comes with what sizes. So these are the things, um, if, I, if I am going to sell in this category, and this is the top product, um, this would be the features that my product would at least have to have. Which means that, hey, um, this is the bare minimum. If you want to, if you want to join here, you're going to have this set. Uh, you can verify it against like multiple, um, a few other uh, items within that keyword. Uh, if we go to, if we go back here, a blender bottle, blender bottle. If you look at this particular one, um, it has the hook look as well. Uh, this has a straw. We look at look over here. Yeah, 
this one shows uh this one actually shows leak proof etc so there are some things that are, are are comparable to the previous one but maybe this particular one is um a little bit um different in the sense that it is not a gym bottle that is meant for um protein shakes etc so the previous one this blender bottle itself would be more suitable for um, anyone looking for a protein shake bottle so that that could be a keyword overlap um so maybe just uh just one tip over here if um, you should look at uh, more than one keyword uh, itself um Look at multiple keywords. Uh, make sure that the product that you're targeting, um, you are actually looking at the correct um, listings to compare with. So the blender bottle, I would actually compare it with this uh, shaker bottle uh, rather than that uh, Elvira thing just now. Um, you see here, hey, this one has um, similar features. It has the hoop. It has a uh, uh the shaker ball. Didn't really emphasize um this particular listing didn't really emphasize uh leak proof etc. So I would say it's not as good um because in your listing itself I would definitely uh sh kind of show off uh, what of what my products can do rather than giving like static images uh, of the product in different views so you can see like hey these are the same thing but all this would so-called present to you as an opportunity uh, if you see that in your keyword multiple listings are just doing uh, something very plain um, not much marketing etc loaded into the images um, that's also an opp opportunity for you to come in to say hey I can I can actually do uh, something better and I can uh, explain uh, what are the value adds to my customer better um, not just in the description but also in the images as well so these are these are these are the first set of things i think uh, you should look out for um definitely features that um the particular product offers um so if you are looking to do something similar to a protein bottle look into multiple uh, listings of um, protein shake bottles and try to make sure that hey at least for at least comparing to the top product um, i can say that my product um, has the same if not more features um, usually one one method for me uh, is that after i meet the additional feature i can actually throw in uh, some free stuff to bundle to bundle it with uh, in this case hey over here maybe it's a protein bottle with this uh this blender ball with uh, one particular thing you can uh, throw in could be um, let's say a carrier that uh, holds the bottle or something to hold the bottle when it's cold or um, you know when you when you actually fill it up with cold water there's condensation at the side right so maybe a wrapper to, to stop like the water from leaking so that's something that you can throw in to differentiate yourself from your competitor So other than that, um, you you wanna you actually wanna um, kind of look at um, the other things that are being sold. Um, they are being sold under the portion of say customer who view this also view this product um, because it kind of gives you a very good understanding of hey um, what are your competitors in this field because um, it is an existing product out there um, you would already have. They will already have information about hey um if someone is looking at this product who are the competing products so these are a very good indicators of um, people you're competing with um to be frank in this uh, protein chip uh, bottle case uh, it seems like it's super dominated by one brand which is blender bottle um might not be the best example um but if you if you do look at like other keywords etc you'll realize um under customers of view this product usually the more, more popular products will show up uh, in this section yeah then after that um 
usually I will go down to this section over here, which says product information. Um, this tells you, this tells you uh, some bit of information um, that I think is pretty good. Um, so firstly, uh, I usually ignore product dimensions all the way until uh, item model number. Customer reviews, of course, it shows you how many customers who have already uh, rated this product. Um, but I want to focus on this one, which is uh, bestseller rank. So in bestseller rank, you actually are able to see, um, to go in and see in this particular uh, category, who are the top competitors uh, that you need to, that you need to beat. Um, this item is a bit uh, dubious because it has multiple categories. I think um, Amazon since, I think last year or two years ago, they have actually started to mandate that one product can only have one category. Um, but I think there are still some legacies uh, lying around, like this product, for example. I'm not sure why they actually have um, multiple product categories. Yeah, but um, here it is. Uh, this one is informative to you, would be informative to you because um, the same the same type of products are usually usually exist in the same category. You'll want to know where to list your particular product as well. Um, how this helps is that um, I think in one of the one of the algorithms that Amazon used to rank you for keywords. Um, the category that your product belong in actually matters. And you want to be placed in a category uh, where the more relevant um, relevant products in your uh, relevant products to what you're selling um, is actually in. So in this case, um, sports nutrition product, there's this blender bottle here, but apparently everything else um, doesn't really relate. So I probably wouldn't put my uh, product in this category. Um, but this product that, that they have here is kind of rigged. Uh, it has three categories. But if you look at cocktail shakers, somehow it is here. Um, you can see, hey, these are the uh, top sellers uh, inside this uh, particular um, category called uh, cocktail shakers. This will actually give you a very good gauge of um, what's the kind of what's the rank like or how much how much uh, volume that they are selling per day. Um, number three in kitchen and dining is amazing. Uh. I think um, at this level you probably do about two, um, maybe three hundred to five hundred um, units a day. Um, so you can see this guy's number one. Uh, what I usually like to do is open up the rest of the listing and see how they how they rank relative to uh, that particular the first product. So um, this one is number one. Uh, this one is number two. Number two in this category is actually uh, number six in kitchen and dining. So it's still very strong. Yeah, but if you can see over here, um, number three in this category suddenly falls to 926 uh, in kitchen and dining. So there's, a, there's actually a very big discrepancy between um, the product that was, the product that are being sold here. So number one and two does really well. Uh, single digits in a particular category is crazy. Number three here suddenly drops to 900 plus. So this might, this might just tell you that, hey, um, for this market that we want to go in, protein shake, bottles, um, it, it could be super brand driven because um, as long as it has blender bottle on the tag, uh, it seems like they do better than someone who is not. Um, 
that that is a hypothesis uh, just uh, when we just uh, start to search out these uh, items I think um, if you have a if you have a helium 10 you can actually use that to estimate the the helium 10 extension you can actually use that to estimate the uh, sales volume better uh, because I think they aggregate um, sales data and they can actually see hey based on your BSR how much you are selling a day then um, yeah okay so these are the three items that I opened um, it, it, it's helpful to know uh, where each of the products stand in um, these categories uh, also for another thing but I'll mention it in a bit so uh, in this particular category you have um, best sellers in travel and to go drink where looks like not everything is relevant to a protein shake uh, but we can see how well this particular product rank um, versus number one and two is selling like crazy yeah so this category um, the third product is 28 compared to the previous category where the, uh, where the third product is 900 something. Um, so this particular category itself is probably super competitive. Um, if you put your product here, yeah, uh, there are some, it probably helps for some of the keywords, but I would still think that um, cocktail shakers are more relevant. Um, but the, but a good thing about a category with um, lesser competition is actually uh, whether you get the best seller tag or not. So uh, I have not mentioned this before, but um, one of the ways that um, you can try to, to bump up your sales uh, is to aim for one of the tags that Amazon um, uh, gives you uh, if you do well. So number one, if you sell well, you get a tag. Um, if you're if there's some metrics that you do well in i think it's not reviewed um, you might also be able to get the amazon's choice tag so in this case um, if we go back to gym bottle uh, yeah this guy has the amazon's choice tag um, and it's also the best seller so usually the amazon's choice tag will overwrite the best seller uh, tag if they have both Yeah, so um, it's it's good to it's good to do this kind of research into your competitors' uh, products. Uh, first, to make sure that you are placed in the correct category, and if um if you can if you can actually find some categories that um have low competition and there's a potential for you to get the best seller tag, uh, I would go for that. Um, uh, because uh, I've seen the difference once you get uh one particular tag. Uh, your sales can jump mm, by maybe 30 to 50 percent um, depending on the category okay yeah so these are some of the these are kind of like the numbers things um, that I try to look when I um, uh, after I find my keyword um, I'm trying to think of a product I'll go in and to see all these things to see uh, where to place my product how to position my product amongst uh, the other products um, should I bundle stuff etc uh, into it um, then the last part of the competitors listing um, is actually on uh, the Q&A section uh, Q&A and review section so for the Q&A portion um, it's actually quite uh, interesting because um, if you think about it, uh, customers, customers only ask when it matters to them. Um, does it dig? So this is definitely something um, that people are people want to know. Uh, of course, nobody will say their their bottles leak, uh, <laughs> but it's good for it's good um, that this uh, seller answered uh, those questions uh, by putting it in their listing leak proof guarantee so 
um, it directly addresses people's concern um, when they are thinking about buying this particular product. Uh, what other things do they have here? Does it work with prospect and this? So this might not be so relevant. But yeah, there are a lot of questions for you to see. Um, if you can, if you can uh, read through them, it's actually very good uh, information when you start to craft your product. Um, people are worried about strong chemical smell. Mm, probably will not put. I will not put no strong chemical smell on the listing itself. Uh, but it's something to think about uh, when you do your prototyping. You receive the product. You want to make sure that um, that it isn't present. Can it bear hot water? Um, a very frequent question. Um, this is also something that I would probably address uh, in the listing. Uh, lead doesn't close that, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, and so on and so forth. I think um, uh, maybe you guys get my point here. Um, the customers, the end customers uh, comments are actually the best place uh, you can find information to actually um, create that product uh, that could uh, that could beat uh, all the other products uh, in that particular search term. Yeah. Um, the next bit, I actually the part that I focus a lot on is on uh, reviews. Um, when I do my when I do my product research, I actually create a large Excel sheet that I think that has to be at least 50 rows. I would take like uh, the, the top products, uh, what are the top, uh, the best reviews for them, what are the worst reviews for them, and try to pick out uh, features that uh, my product has to tackle uh, in order to do well. So one example over here would be to, hey, look at, first look at um, the five star comments. Five star, um, it's a bottle, <laughs> it holds liquid, does not leak on me. So leaking is probably something um, that we see coming up repeatedly. So that's something that I would definitely um, keep an eye on. Um, if you go down, you can see uh, what else are there? This is too long, don't want to read it. Um, I was very excited to receive this shaker bottle, uh, new replacement, blah, 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 blah. Lid snaps very tightly and so far leak proof. So again, um, it, it reinforces your uh, hypothesis that hey, being leak proof is very important in this. Uh, even though everybody assumes that hey, it is um, if you have a bottle, it's supposed to be leak proof. Um, but if you are able to showcase and you are able to iterate, uh, reiterate to your customer that hey, this bottle is leak proof guarantee, then um, it assures them of all these concerns that uh, they might have, but they have not. They don't say it out um, explicitly. So going through, you can see uh, similar stuff. Uh, da -da -da -da. Same here, leak proof, easy to clean. So another theme over here, easy to clean. Maybe that's something uh, people are looking out for. Then I would do this for like 50, 50 over, Okay, maybe 50 is a lot, um, but I don't think it's a lot when you're going to invest money into it. So uh, try to get as much as you can, um, pick out the, the plus points and put it into a feature list saying that, hey, these are the things that I should target. Then if we look at, um, on the other side, you should be looking at the one star comments as well. Um, yeah, and understand where are the most, um, most common errors that um, this product causes, uh, this product has, and from there we can learn it. We can learn from there what we should avoid uh, when creating the product. So had this bottle for weeks, collecting smell, even with good washing. Um, something about um, the scent being retained, so that's not good. Crack into half. Okay, this is horrible. Customers don't honor guarantee. This is on service, it's not really on a product, but if you put out a guarantee, um, 
better on it. If not, you get comments like this. Um, it doesn't shut. Doesn't close easily. Sometimes um, it could be because of like uh, random errors that will happen in the manufacturing process. Um, you you have to kind of sift through on sift through and think a bit on whether you think on uh, this uh this uh error or this uh critical feature that people will write bad reviews on uh is actually uh, valid or not so that's on our part we need to uh, make a more con conscious um analysis to think uh, to think through whether we agree with that yeah so a lot of them saying doesn't close fully so maybe you don't want to maybe you want to change uh the way you do um the way you want to do the cap. Do you want to do a screw tight cap rather than a, a snap close uh bottle? That is something that um you can think about if um leaking is such a big problem here. Yeah, so a lot of, um, I would say almost all the comments are about um, it not closing fully. So I guess um, if I'm doing this product, I better make sure that uh, that thing closes well. Okay, so uh, back to this page. Um, yeah, so once you, once you browse through, when you go from top down uh, of the competitor listing, then you'll kind of realize you kind of realize, hey, um, how this, how's this guy doing, etc., and uh, the pros and cons of a particular product, and how you um, might want to position it, or what kind of features you want to bring in. The last part um, is actually uh, something that's new. I would say newer. Um, top reviews from other countries. So this actually gives you um, something to think about the potential of extending your product beyond US. So when you do your uh, analysis itself, you can actually see, hey, how's it looking like in other countries? Um, I usually start with um, Amazon.com you know, before branching out because Amazon.com is by far the biggest market uh, for Amazon platform, um, for Amazon Marketplace. Um, I think followed by UK, followed by EU. Uh, now they broke off, right? So it's a, it's a little bit different over there. Um, but yeah, the reviews here can actually tell you, give you some signal on uh, whether it's actually selling in other countries. Um, overseas, to refer to overseas, um, reviews are quite sparse. I think uh, definitely not as much as US. So if there is a good volume of uh, overseas um, reviews from other countries, then I would say it's probably pretty good. Pretty good, pretty good indicator, sorry. Wait, how come it didn't, did I click the wrong link? Okay, seems like I can't, uh, I can't filter it in, um, uh, by other countries, uh, in this page, but I would guess like a good, uh, a good look would be just over here to see, um, whether other countries are selling. So UK itself, you can see there are quite a bit of reviews here. It's probably okay. Um, what, what you can then do is uh, to go to Amazon UK, uh, search for this product, and then you can uh, read off the reviews from that and give it a try.
So Amazon UK, same thing over here. Oh, not this one. A classic one. Hmm. Zero ratings from me. Think this is the wrong one. Yeah, so this is the same product uh, as in uh, the one is in UK. You can see. 200 plus um, 200 plus comments is that uh, reviews is actually quite quite decent uh, for UK um, in US I think the numbers are pumped up very high so uh, you might not uh, it's not as telling as um, the, re the reviews and ratings um, in the other countries so if you click like all reviews yeah over here you can see uh, roughly gauge whether there's actually a market for this particular product or overseas as well and do they look out for different things um, for your product yeah but if you're focused on amazon.com for now I think um, you don't really have to dive too deep into these details yeah so um, that's roughly how I how I um, analyze like a competitor's listing um, I think I only gave one example of um, the multiple products that I run through. Um, if you're doing, if you're going to uh, invest in a product, I think we should always do due diligence um, and going into at least maybe like four or five of these competitor listings uh, should be, uh, would be ideal uh, before you actually say, hey, I know, I know what this, this product is about. I know uh, this market. Um, Directly, directly look at the feedback from the customers. That would be my best advice. And design your products. Uh, the rest of the other things that I mentioned about uh, BSR, etc. I think those are just um, additional information uh, for you to so-called um, boost, your, boost your listing or boost your sales uh, down the line. Yeah. So I think um, this is actually all that I have to share uh, with regards to uh, what to look